Hey guys, my name is Hugo Valentin Jr. and welcome back to Train Toy News. In this episode, there's a lot of new announcements and a lot of new reveals, and I'm very excited, so let's get right into it. The first lovely new announcement was Bachman Bow, which got announced on a live stream straight from Bachman, and it was very exciting to see for me. Honestly, I didn't expect Bo to look this good, but I've heard from other people that it's a retooling, so it's gonna actually have a bunch of features that are a little bit off. I know that the front doesn't have any buffers. He's supposed to have buffers, but the cow catcher doesn't have buffers, sadly, but he looks really good anyways, and I'm just excited because uh, this is a very odd engine to put in any merchandise. I didn't expect him to actually have any merch. Of course, his Thomas Wood was canceled, his Thomas Wood variant. So it's just very great to see him in any sort of merchandise in general. And it's just a curveball, you know? I'm very happy that he got merch and I was really hoping that he got merch. It was just a missed opportunity whenever he was canceled in Thomas Wood. So I'm just happy that he's finally being released in some sort of range. The next announcement is the all new Bachman Ryan and Enskill Toby. Now I'm very hyped because I have been waiting for him for a long time. I think he was announced last year and he was available for pre-order last year as well. So it's just very great that he's coming out now and I'm just so excited to get my hands on him. He looks really good. Of course, he looks so amazing. They made him really well and I'm just excited because uh, he's my favorite character. He's my favorite CGI character for sure uh, in terms of design. Of course, purple is my favorite color, so I was just very excited when I seen him being announced. And it actually makes sense because Daisy and Ryan work on the same part of the railway, so of course they had Ryan coming out afterwards to accompany her. And, you know, it's just really cool to see him in a model version, model variant. I was really hoping that he was coming out in Bachman, but I just found it very unlikely and turns out he came out anyways, so I'm just very glad about that. He's just such a good design and I'm very happy to have him now. Next, we have this lovely new All Engines Go push along with and he actually looks really good. I think this is a first for a long time. I know that Whiff hasn't gotten that much merch, at least in motorized, so I feel like the last announcement with Whiff merch was more crazy, but his regular push along was actually released in 2020, so it hasn't been that long for like basically the take and play version of Whiff. But it's still a nice announcement and a nice new addition. And next, we have a new Special Moments Pack line, which has these toy covered engines. We have Thomas, Percy, and Nia, and they're covered in a bunch of toys. It's a little bit hard to make out, but I know Nia has a toy choo-choo train on the side of her, and Percy seems to have like this springy part. And Thomas, I don't know what that is on Thomas, I'm not too sure, but it looks like cakes, to be honest. I think I'm just hungry, but they look really good. Then we actually have Playro All Engines Go merch, which is really cool. They still look very wonky to me. I don't really like their designs, especially how Playro did it. They just look really like knockoffy and plastic, but it's cool to see that they are making a new big set in Playro. Of course, they had that set with Thomas and the Breakdown Crane and Caroline, Terrence, and Trevor. So it kind of is reminiscent of that. And it's cool to see more trucks that have little bits and bobs inside of them. So that's really cool. And we get some All Engines Go Troublesome Trucks in Play Rail. So that's really cool. And on the back of that same box, we actually see the other variants of the All Engines Go renditions in Play Rail. Lastly, we have an All Engines Go Play Rail set. And this Play Rail set looks really crazy, I'm gonna admit. This looks very insane. There's a lot of colors, but there's not much paint going on. I don't like all these clashing colors, to be honest, but it looks to be a different rendition of that Mountain Drop set that they remake a lot. They remake that set so many times. I feel like there's like four variants, maybe five now, but it looks to be that Mountain Drop set and it just looks all right. So that's it, folks. That's all the news we have for this train news episode. And let me know in the comments what you think about these. Do you agree with my opinions or do you disagree? And what are you excited for? Please let me know. I hope to see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, and comment for more videos like these. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.